Hey guys, I hope you can't hear my clothes drying in the next room, but we are in a different location than we usually film in. This is actually our bathroom, so welcome to our bathroom. Um, I wanted to show you guys a very simple way of detoxing your face. So if you're not used to doing facials or anything like that regularly, then um, I would suggest going out and getting a um, jar of this um, calcium bentonite clay and it comes in it's a powder um, and you can actually get this at I got this at Earth Fair you can get this at health food stores or um, I'll actually put a link for an Amazon um, purchase down below uh, but it comes in a powder form like this and um, what you're gonna do is um, I usually put not very much because a little bit goes a long way with this but y'all know I don't measure <laughs> um, probably about a tablespoon into a um, bowl so I'm going to do that for you right now so I've got my bowl I'm going to take my clay and just drop a little bit in there so I've got the bottom with um with clay it might be just a tiny bit more than a tablespoon but i'm only going to make this for um one use and uh, i know some people and you're welcome to do this too make up enough to keep in an airtight container and then you can use it several times before it goes bad so um but i usually just do it each time that i do this and i do this about once a week just um this is a great way to like detox your face uh, clean your pores out and all that kind of stuff and it's just really good for your skin so now I'm going to just put a little splash of uh, raw apple cider vinegar in here okay it's hard to see that um, and then I'm actually going to, um, it's, it's getting all fizzy, I love that. Now I'm gonna put uh, about the same amount, just a little splash of um, water. Now you wanna take a non-metal um, spoon. I actually don't have like a little wooden spoon. I'd love to do that, but I'm taking just the end of a big uh, wooden spoon and I'm just gonna mix it up. until it's a nice clay and this is not an exact science so if you need to add a little more of your clay you can or if you need to add a little more water or apple cider vinegar you can but usually it's about right So that's about right. It's very slowly dripping off of here. So it's just thick enough to put a thin layer onto my face. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna add some essential oils. This is, um, it, this is definitely an optional step if you would like to um, take your cleansing to another level, then you can add essential oils. I'm actually going to add hinoki which is an oil I got for free with my um, loyalty rewards order this month with doTERRA. Um, but you are welcome to use whatever oil you feel like would um, be best for cleansing your face. Hinoki has a really great, um, I love the scent of it, but it's a really great um, a skin oil. So it's good for, um, for cleansing your skin, for cleaning out those pores, detoxing. Uh, but you're welcome to use anything like lavender, especially if you are um, doing this at bedtime, which is usually when I do it, and you want just a nice relaxing um, facial, then use lavender for sure. Um, another oil that I really like and is really good for your skin is uh, frankincense. I love the scent of frankincense. Um, and it's just such a powerful oil. This is known as the king of oils and it's just so powerful um, and it's great for skin. So 
uh, really it is up to you whatever your preference is but like I said today I'm going to use Hinoki <clears throat> and I'm just going to put about five drops one two three four five doesn't have to be exact uh, five drops of Hinoki in there give it a, another little stir Oh, it smells so good. I can just smell it. Why well, I'm going to smell it after I put it on my face. <laughs> so, all right. So that's all mixed up. Now I just get to apply it. All right. Got my hair pinned back, ready to apply. Just going to get a little bit on my hands and start putting it all over. And don't be afraid to glop it on. We're going to wash it all off in a little bit. I'm using you guys as a mirror. <laughs> I've never done this on camera before. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd make it as like a, a makeup artist or a um, like an influencer that just does makeup all day on camera because this makes me super uncomfortable actually <laughs> but I hope you guys are enjoying it and being entertained by it so you want to leave this on for um, let it dry for five to ten minutes if you have sensitive skin um, if you do not and I do not I'm actually going to put this um, down on my neck too because sometimes um, I get some once in a while I get breakouts and stuff down here so I think it's just good to kind of get it everywhere um, but if you do not have sensitive skin you can leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes usually I will leave it on for about 15 minutes and you will have a funny um, not in a weird way but a um when as it's drying you actually feel your face like pulsating and um that is completely normal so don't be freaked out by that so i've got plenty of extra so i'm gonna go back i might actually let my oldest do this too and use up the rest of this because she's been wanting to do a facial lately and this will be fun to do with your kids if you have if you have some some girls some older girls and they're really just starting to get into skincare and and um, taking care of themselves and that kind of thing then they would really enjoy doing this with mom so I think you should do that okay I hope I have applied it well I think I have so now I look really scary but like I said, this is going to dry for about 15 minutes for me because I do not have sensitive skin. Uh, if you do and it makes you uncomfortable, then by all means, just do it for five or 10 minutes. You're still going to reap some benefits from it. And as it's drying, um, you're going to feel your, your face kind of tighten up and, um, and then it'll be pulsing a little bit, which is fine. It's totally normal. Um, and, and then we'll wash it off. So. I'll show you how how I do that okay so it's been 15 minutes it's very hard to move my mouth to talk <laughs> um, but I have a warm wet washcloth and I'm just gonna start removing it starting at my forehead
you might have to um, wash out your washcloth and and um, get it cleaner to finish up uh, but you get the point um, your face will be a little bit red to start with and but that'll go away um, but overall it'll feel amazing if you have any sort of um, moisturizer or um, I have a rose hydrosol that I use um, that I'll spritz on here now um, just to help finish off my facial and my spa experience for the night and um, that's it so I hope you guys uh, get to try your own at home and like I said super simple like I said I will leave a link below for the bentonite clay where you can order it on Amazon uh, and if you are interested in getting yourself some doTERRA essential oils into your home so you can use them for this and for many many other things then uh, just send me a quick email michelle at farmlifeoutfitters.com I'll have that below too and I'll get you hooked up with that and I hope you guys have a great day we'll talk to you next time bye